What have you seen that Delaware could do better and what would you like to see us do in the coming months? Well, I'm, I'm just very, very pleased with where Delaware is at. I'm very hopeful, but let me be really clear, a lot of the hard work is still ahead. So let's celebrate the progress, but this is not a time to back up or to slow down or, or to you know, somehow you know, rest on our laurels. So Delaware has been very aggressive. Delaware, as I said today, has a chance not just to break through for education for children here in this state, but for the country. The, you know, the eyes of the nation are on Delaware. And a lot of hard work ahead of the state between now and the fall. Um, but I have a lot of confidence um, that the state will get there. So very, very encouraging. Um, but you know, keep, 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 the, keep the pedal, keep the foot on the gas. Um, not a time to slow down. I just don't want the perfect to be the enemy of the good. We have to get in this game. We have to start recognizing great talent and rewarding it and learning from it. We have to give teachers support in the middle where it's not working, uh, where, where, they're, where they're trying to get better. We're simply not working the bottom. We have to deal with that openly and honestly. The biggest challenge Delaware faces is those 3,500 young people that you lose, you're losing between ninth and 12th grade every single year. That's the end goal of student achievement here. Now, I think meaningful teacher evaluation is, is a piece of that, but the goal here is how do you create a climate where many more young people are academically successful, college and career ready. So attracting great talent, rewarding that talent, recognizing it, Great teachers, great principals make a huge difference in students' lives. But the outcome here is student achievement. That's what we're looking for.